destruction of Jerusalem was more terrible than anything that the world has ever witnessed, either before or since. Even Titus himself seemed to see in his cruel work the hand of an avenging God. Truly the blood of the martyrs slain in Jerusalem was amply avenged when the whole city became a field of blood. It was before that generation had passed away that Jerusalem was besieged and destroyed. There was a sufficient interval full proclamation of the gospel by the apostles. They preached to all the world. The gospel was heard by everyone, by the evangelists and the early Christian church. And for the gathering out of those who recognize the crucified Christ as their true Messiah. Then came the awful end, which the Savior foresaw and foretold, and the prospect of which wrung from his lips and heart the sorrowful lament that followed his prophecy of the doom awaiting those guilty ones. Nothing remained for the king but to pronounce the solemn sentence of death upon those who could not come unto him that they might have life. He said, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. The whole house of that time was left desolate when Jesus departed from them temple and the holy and beautiful house became a spiritual desolation when Christ finally left it. Jerusalem was too far gone to be rescued from itself. It had sought its own doom. The king had left his followers in no doubt as to when these things should happen. He said, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. It was just about an ordinary limit of a generation when the Roman armies encompassed Jerusalem, whose measure of iniquity was then full and overflowed with misery and agony and distress bloodshed such as the world has never seen before or since. Jesus was a true prophet. Everything that he foretold was literally fulfilled.